What's up everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. So I put up the video last night. I just woke up guys, so um I put up the video last night about inflammation. Okay, and I titled that video something to the effect of what they're not telling you, blah blah blah, whatever. And right away, I think a lot of people understood it. They got it. Because if you do a quick Google search, you can find information really quick about inflammation. What really pisses me off is the people that just want to argue. And I'm like, you want to argue, but you did a quick Google search. You didn't actually do any research because you would have known that dairy does cause inflammation. Now, the problem that we're having now, people do, well, dairy causes the opposite. Listen, there are actually things in dairy that can cause anti-inflammatory effects, but there are also things in dairy that cause inflammatory effects. And what you saw was data that was actually from a dairy website. The dairy website had studies done that show that those, those anti-inflammatory um, ingredients, nutrients that are in milk, cause a decrease in inflammation. The problem is what was used in that study was a milk that is not the same that you get commercially in the stores. Okay, That was not something that had added hormones to it, added chemicals to it, wasn't pasteurized. The, the, it blows my mind. It's the same shit that happened with um, coconut oil. Coconut oil is like a fucking be-all, end-all. It's an amazing health thing. The coconut oil used in the study was a custom blend coconut oil that does not exist on the regular market. It is so expensive that you guys wouldn't use that coconut oil. And that coconut oil was not saturated fat. It was mostly an unsaturated fat with very little saturated fat because it was a custom blend that got the results that they were looking for to be able to push the coconut oil for marketing when they put the cheaper shit on the market that you consume and claim you get the same fucking effects, which you don't. It's not the same product. It's like saying a Ferrari on a fucking Ford Pinto are the same. Yeah, they're both cars, but they're completely different things. They drive differently. They handle differently. They fucking use gas differently. I mean, everything about them is different. Those custom blends are different. The dairy thing was the same fucking thing. Now, if you dug a little further, you'd find out actually why dairy actually causes inflammation. Now, number one, many people are lactose intolerant. And this doesn't mean that you shit your pants every time you drink a glass of milk. Our bodies, whether you fucking like it or not, are not made to take in another fucking animal's milk. Matter of fact, our bodies are only meant to take in milk for a certain period of time where we don't have any fucking teeth and we can't fucking chew things. Therefore, milk is our only source of fuel and nutrients that we put in our body from our mom. After a certain point where we start to eat, Milk, we're not supposed to consume milk anymore. This is some shit that fucking humans devised because we were able to take a cow or a goat or whatever the fuck, dog, whatever, extract the fucking milk from it and drink it. Just because we can do something doesn't mean we should or our bodies are made to do that. Just because our bodies will adapt to that and fucking tolerate it doesn't mean it's good for it. Why the fuck can you guys not wrap your head around that? It bothers the fuck out of me that you're so closed-minded, that you're so brainwashed into thinking that milk is this thing that is just the most amazing. I've heard people say it's the perfect food. I'm like, for what? For a fucking baby. Like, what the fuck? It doesn't, we've been so brainwashed for so long. But anyways, people are lactose intolerant. Myself, I'm lactose intolerant. It doesn't mean I run to the bathroom, but when I drink the milk, I get a bloated effect. Now, here's the problem. Most people, if they keep drinking milk, don't know they have that bloated effect. They adapt to actually being bloated and feeling like shit and don't realize it. Cut milk out for a month. 30 days, cut all milk products out for a month. Go back and drink a fucking glass of milk. I guarantee you will feel like shit because you don't know that you feel like shit now or you think you feel like shit because of something else. You're not realizing it's the food you put in your body. However, detox your body from certain foods for a period of time, like a month. Go back and eat them and watch what happens to your body. You'll be like, what the fuck? And then you, that 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 non-harmful thing like milk that you think is not a big deal, why the fuck does it make you sick after you detox your body from it? Because your body doesn't fucking want it. It adapts to fucking having it in there because it's like, fuck, it keeps coming in. There's nothing we can do. Let's adapt and survive. And then when you re remove that from your diet and you put it back in, your body goes, fuck, I don't want this, and rejects it. You get sick from it. Like, it, it fucking kills me that's close. Anyways. So uh, the tolerance is caused when the body can't produce the enzyme lactase. The enzyme is what helps break down the blood sugar, uh, the milk sugar, excuse me. Uh, traditional dairy no longer has this enzyme because it was killed off during the pasteurization process. The intolerance leads to gas, bloating, constipation, diarrhea. Other people who do produce lactase may have a reaction to the milk due to the proteins casein and whey. Casein is similar in construction to gluten. Those who don't tolerate gluten well will likely have an issue with dairy too. That's just one way that dairy causes inflammation. Let's go on with the next one. Second, dairy products can cause too much acidity in the body. Milk is an acid-forming food. In order for the body to maintain neutral pH balance, 
not much too not too much acidity and not too much alkalinity it pulls nutrients that are stored in our bones while some drink milk for the calcium to maintain good bone health it may have the opposite effect and cause osteoporosis because the nutrients pulled from the bones many of the treatments for osteoporosis cause inflammation in the body that's the second reason why milk or dairy products cause inflammation the third reason Dairy products can lead to inflammation in the body is because it could be full of chemicals and hormones. Our traditional dairy farmers inject cows with growth hormone so they will produce more milk. This forced production of milk can cause the cows to get infectious, infections called mastocysts, and that is, gets treated with antibiotics. All of these added components come through the dairy products we consume. One of the side effects of antibiotics in the body is they kill off the good bacteria, which is bad. When you get antibiotics in your system from the food you eat, the good bacteria die, and that leads to issues in your gut. Things like inflammation can result because the normal gut bacteria are not present to keep everything healthy and working as it should. There's three reasons why milk or dairy products cause inflammation. All you need is one. Not everybody's going to be affected by all three. Not everybody's going to be affected by any of these. But many people are affected by at least one, if not more. Some people could be affected by all three. Maybe two, maybe one, maybe combinations of them. But the bottom line is to say shit like... Here's the deal. Saturated fats can cause inflammation. Plain and simple. That's what's in dairy. You have the saturated fats. Like you have like stuff like CLA, which extracted the CLA. Oh, it helps bring down the fucking inflammation. But what you're not, or you're not understanding is there is so much attacking from so many different angles. This is just three angles that they report here that cause inflammation. You think that little bit of fucking CLA that's in your fucking milk that the dairy farmers or the dairy companies that produced data that said it's okay that dairy is anti-inflammatory based on those one things that those nutrients that are in milk make it okay to consume, make it anti-inflammatory. No, what it does is contain stuff like CLA and other nutrients that cause inflammation to go down. But the problem is the way that this is produced and what it does to your body causes the inflammation to go up. It can't fight it. It doesn't make it neutral, make it okay. It means the inflammation wins every fucking time. And it blows my fucking mind that people like, you really out there, some of you really, really, really out there think that the food you put in your body is not a big deal. The food is fucking medicine. The food keeps us alive. The food heals our bodies. Keeps us alive and heals our bodies. Think about that for a second. Without the foods that we consume, we're dead. Without the foods we consume, we can't heal. And you're trying to tell me that you dumb that down to the point where you think food is not a fucking big deal and everything is fucking related the same? Food is one of the most powerful things on the entire fucking planet that keeps us alive and moving and not breaking down our bodies. And you fucking, you really think that all food is created equal. Some of the food is made with fucking plastic. They're adding chemicals and plastics to the fucking foods. And you're like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. No, it's not okay. And I'm sick of people saying it is okay because they're uneducated or they're just fucking ignorant or they're just literally burying their heads in the sand because they don't want to know the truth. Because you know what? I like milk. I fucking enjoy milk, but when I drink it, I feel like shit. I didn't know. I used to drink a gallon of whole milk a fucking day. A gallon of whole milk a fucking day. My face, I was so fucking puffed up because it's all I could afford. I went the cheap route to get my calories in with a gallon of fucking whole milk a day. And I, when I would cut that milk out, I would drop two, three, four pounds just from the water retention. I was sick all the fucking time. I had issues all the time with fucking illnesses. My body was fucking inflamed from what I was doing to it. Dairy is one of the things that I removed. Now, don't get me wrong. I still have cheese here and there. Like, I don't think it's a big deal. If I want a little thing of yogurt, I'll eat a little bit of that. But I do not consume milk products on a regular fucking basis because I know what they do to me. I know what they do to the human body. I know that we are not. Think about this, right? Without modern technologies where we fucking take this cow, which is fucked up, stick them in this little fucking stall attach a fucking leash to a collar and keep their fucking ass there and pump the fucking milk while we impregnate them and keep them fucking pregnant, right? Take all that shit away. How do we fucking consume milk fucking back in the day before all this shit happened? Do we literally walk around like fucking knuckleheads, see a cow, like some farmer's cow, and run up to the cow, lay down underneath it, grab the fucking udder and suck on it? No, we didn't do that. We didn't do that at all. But that's what those udders are for, little baby cows to fucking suck on. They're not for us to fucking extract the milk. Like, I don't know why people can't... Ra I don't give a fuck if you drink milk. I don't give a shit. Just stop acting like an asshole and burying your head in the stand and say it doesn't fucking matter or it's not real. What I'm saying is not real. What I'm saying is fucking reality. The problem is you've been brainwashed into fucking thinking certain things are okay that become the norm. 
because you perceive something as a norm doesn't mean that it's okay. There are people out there that think it's normal and okay to beat their children an inch from their fucking life when they're bad. There are people out there that think it's okay to judge someone based on their fucking skin. Those people think it's okay too. In their reality, in their world, they think that shit's okay. It's just normal because that's how they were fucking raised. That's how they've been brainwashed over time from the people around them. That's how they have thought their whole life since birth. But does it make it okay? Drinking milk from a fucking cow makes no fucking sense. The fact that we can do this as humans, no other fucking animals on the entire fucking planet drink any other animal's fucking milk ever unless it's an abandoned fucking baby that has to survive. You don't see a fucking wolf going up to a fucking cow and sucking on its udder. That wolf eats that motherfucker. You don't see a lion going up to a fucking another pregnant fucking lion after cubs and sucking on the fucking lion's udders. I guess it doesn't have udders, I guess. And then fucking drinking the milk from another fucking lion. That lion goes out and eats shit. Why? Because they're fucking grown ass adult fucking animals that need more than fucking milk to survive. That milk is specifically there to get you through a certain point where your body can't digest and break down the fucking foods that you need as an adult. It's it's mind bending that people can't wrap their heads around this. It just, it, it blows my fucking mind. And you know, I kind of understand it because I didn't understand back in the day. I had a friend of mine tell me the same shit. David Goldman said, yo, we're never meant to drink milk. And I was drinking a gallon of milk. He watched me bring that gallon of milk and I was chugging that fucking thing down. I was mixing my shakes with it. He said it to me, and I was like, shut the f I literally said, shut the fuck up. Dave was a lot younger than me. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I kind of, you know, we had a kind of like a bigger, younger brother, older, younger brother relationship. I was like, shut the fuck up. I'm getting swole. Like, I just didn't care. But it, I understand now the acidity with milk, get this, isn't just, doesn't just cause inflammation, but that acidity actually can cause your body for cancer to take over. We know now that your body being too acidic that can happen. So why the fuck would you be pushing shit in your body constantly to change the acidity levels? I mean, we eat protein already, which changes the acidity levels enough, right? But now you're putting stuff in there that compound the inflammation on top of it, that are more acidic on top of it. I mean, when you're doing, if you eat a chicken breast, the inflammation doesn't happen like if you drank fucking milk. You drink milk, not only do you have the acidity that goes up higher that can help have cancer flourish, but you're pushing the inflammation, which on top of the acidity, inflammation can cause cancer. You're getting a one-two punch out of one food. It, it, I, I can't wrap my head around, guys. It, it's so hard for me to, to understand that this basic shit that is not far-fetched, it's not bullshit, it's out there, it's been out there. It's how our bodies have worked for fucking the entire fucking time that we've been alive as humans. But it totally gets pushed aside because everybody's worried about their fucking abs. Everybody's worried about their Instagram post. Everybody goes on page one of Google to find the shit, which whether you know it or not, dairy companies very easily go to Google, give them a fuck ton of money. They bury the fucking results with the actual shit that's going on with inflammation and put the shit that was done by the dairy fucking companies in the front. So when you read it, you're like, oh, you just Google it, inflammation. They go, Jerry said inflammation, dairy, dairy and inflammation. Oh, click all right there. It says it's fine. Go five pages back. Dig down with fucking Harvard and NIH, not these fucking companies that the dairy company that funded the fuck <laughs> the dairy company that funded the research that only looked at stuff like CLA and things that were good nutrients that ignored all the stuff that was bad. They ignored it. Like you know, it's milk doesn't have just protein in it. It doesn't just have carbs. It doesn't just have fats in it. It has all kinds of fucking nutrients in it that's handed down from those fucking cows that our bodies are not meant to digest. So therefore, it fucks with our bodies, and you can't wrap your head around that. It blows my fucking mind. BowserChain at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. BowserChain.com is a blog. It's the you just got to fucking understand the shit bicep, and that's all there is to it. And we are out.